Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And next time you need parts for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're going to show you how to replace a rear window regulator on this 2000 Grand Marquis, same as any 98 to 02 Grand Marquis, pretty much similar, similar for any 98 to 2011 uh, Grand Marquis, as well as the Ford Crown Victoria. Uh, there may be some differences in how you remove the door panel uh, between vehicles and years. Tools you'll need are flat blade screwdriver, Phillips screwdriver, and the original regulators are riveted in, so you'll need a hammer and punch and a drill with a 3 8 drill bit to drill out the rivets, 11 millimeter socket with a ratchet, needle nose pliers, and then to reinstall, um, if you don't have a rivet and rivet guns, you'll need five half inch long small bolts with lock nuts and two one inch long small bolts with lock nuts. Okay, use a flat blade screwdriver. Come under here, carefully pry this up, pry it up here, and pull it right out. Okay, and now you'll need a um, Phillips screwdriver. Just carefully remove these two Phillips screws. your um, flat plate screwdriver and go right in here you'll see you can see a tab on the side pry up and pull down on one side okay, and then turn it over same thing right over here pry up okay okay now you want to use your flat plate screwdriver and pry down on the top of this bezel and then it comes out and then there's two little um, covers here just pry at the bottom use the bottom that way if you accidentally scratch something it's less likely to show okay and now there are four screws Phillips screws to remove here here and then one down here and just speed up the film here as I remove those uh, four Phillips screws. Okay, once those screws are out, you want to lift up on your panel. Okay, you might have to kind of shake it a little bit to get it out. Okay, and then pull your switch through. And your panel comes off. And to remove your door handle, there's a Phillips screw right under here. Remove that screw. Then slide your handle forward and pull it out. And then when you look behind, you'll see that it's attached to a rod. And what you want to do is kind of pull it down and then forward and off the rod like that. Okay, the regulators in these are actually activated by a cable. Um, mine is actually working fine. When your regulator breaks, you'll usually hear, uh, when you press the switch, you'll usually hear the motor try to work, and you'll either hear a crunching or grinding or clicking noise, and um, or you'll just hear the motor trying to work and nothing happening. Um, also, when your regulator breaks, you can usually take your window, grab it by hand, and move it up and down. Okay, mine, like I said, is not broken, so I'm, but I'm just showing you on this car. Um, so what you'll want to do is the regulator is attached to the door um, with a series of rivets. There's one, two, and three here that hold the motor bracket on. And then there's two down here near the bottom of the door Okay, that holds the bottom, bottom of the rail. And then there are two nuts, 11 millimeter, that hold the regulator there. and then there are two rivets that hold the window regulator to the window one there and one through there where you took the door handle out now again what you'll need to do is if your regulator is broken is just lift up and support the window in this position so you can get to those rivets 
Okay, to remove the rivets, you'll want to punch like this with a pointed tip. And what you'll want to do, the first thing you want to do is knock the center of the rivets out. So I'm putting the punch right on there, holding it against it. Okay, and that, like I said, you can see it knocks the center of the rivet out. So I'm going to do that for the other four. And speed up here as I knock it out for the other two that hold the motor and then the two down below, um, which can't quite see me do. And here I'm using my hammer and punch to punch out the rivets um, that hold the uh, regulator to the window. And as you can see, I'm hitting them quite hard. Make sure you hit the center of the rivet, it'll come out, and you don't really have to worry about breaking your window. Your windows can actually take quite, um, quite an indirect hit. Okay, now take a drill with a 3 8 uh, inch bit on it, and you want to carefully drill through the rivet. The rivet is soft aluminum, so it should come out pretty easy. Uh, the, if you do it without pushing too hard, you usually can do it without the rivet spinning. Okay, you can see the head comes right off, and so we'll do that for the rest of them. Now fast forward here again as I drill out the rest of the rivets um, and one thing you'll see me do is you'll see me bring a screwdriver in. Sometimes when the rivets start to spin what you can do is uh, obviously they're going to spin clockwise with um, the drill so what you can do is take a screwdriver put it in pry it underneath and then pry up the right side so it kind of holds the rivet in place as you drill. Just be careful that when you do this that you don't you know, slip and get your hand too close to the drill or anything like that. Okay, now on these ones with the in the window, you want to use your punch and drive out the rest of the rivet. Okay, use an 11 millimeter socket with a ratchet extension and remove this bolt here. Okay, and then this bolt up here. you'll want to take your screwdriver and pry up and pull this weather strip off. Okay. And then take your window. Let's see here. You can push push the bottom of the window out. That allows it to slide down by the regulator. Now you can take this piece of trim, pull it down some. Actually, you can pull it right off. Okay. Now you're going to take your window here. Okay, this secondary window, push, push it down. And there's two 11 millimeter nuts. We want to remove those. Okay, 
right here is where your power window motor plugs in. There's just a little tab, pushing back the tab with my thumb, pulling up on the connector. Pull this little safety pin right through. Okay, and now these rivets are probably still holding it a little bit. So the motor's right here. Just kind of put a screwdriver in fry out a little bit, you'll pop the rivets. Okay. And fast forward as I just use my screwdriver, pop the rest of those rivets out. You may have to use your hammer and punch to knock them out as well. Um, and then your motor and regulator basically are free, so you just kind of uh, force the two top studs out. Um, and then you just kind of have to manipulate your regulator and motor and pull them right out through the hole in the door. Okay, so my original regulator is in fine shape. Uh, normally what happens on these regulators is the cable breaks. Okay, but this one's fine, so I am going to reinstall it. Uh, regulators from 1A Auto, um, they come, they will install just like the original. They have the correct connector for the motor and everything. Uh, but reinstallation, Put the bottom of the rail in first, feed the motor in, studs in first, look right down to here, okay, so those studs are in, start these nuts on, I'll just fast forward as I just uh, get those two 11 millimeter nuts on that hold the top of the uh, window regulator rail and just kind of hand tighten them. Okay. Now I'm using some smaller bolts and lock nuts. Obviously if you have a rivet gun and rivets, you can rivet this in place. Uh, before I do that, let's see here, just kind of find my, just finding my uh, harness here, make sure it's not caught up anywhere. Plug it in. Okay, I'm speeding up and uh, basically in layman's terms what I'm doing here is I'm using uh, small bolts with lock nuts to replace the rivets because most people don't have access to a rivet gun and rivets. So basically use small bolts with the lock nuts on the back, put them on, and then use a wrench and socket and ratchet or two wrenches uh, to tighten them up. And I'm doing that for the three bolts that hold the window motor and the bottom and then the two bolts that hold the bottom of the regulator rail. And then lastly, um, as far as the regulator and motor installing into the door, just tighten up the two 11 millimeter nuts that hold the top of the rail. When you feed your window in, make sure that the rivets, the old rivets are all the way out. the window in. Okay. Put this bolt back in here for the front channel. And I'll speed it up as we tighten that up. So we just put the window down in and put the bolt back in this channel and tightened it up. 
Okay, so I kind of have to speed through some of this here, um, or else this, this video is going to be longer than the YouTube 20 minutes. Uh, but you basically feed your rear quarter window back down in. Um, actually, first push your window forward into the front channel, then feed your rear quarter window back down in, and then lift um, while you're kind of paying attention to uh, the front and rear of the window, making sure they go in the channels, lift it lift the window up into place um, and eventually you'll get it into the channels and you can lift it all the way up and then you'll want to, and sorry I didn't film this very well, but you'll want to put the bolt back into that rear channel and tighten it up um, and just all the while just make sure that your window is in the channels correctly and will move up and down freely. Okay, so our regulator is down in place. Let's use an inch long bolt and a lock nut for the other side. And I'll speed up here as we tighten up uh, the bolt and lock nut with a wrench uh, and socket and ratchet and then obviously repeat for um, the other uh, attachment point for the regular. We've got the, uh, that, or the key on. good. Okay, remember to put the trim back around the upper part of the window. It can be a little difficult. You just kind of put it onto the pinch weld and you might have to work it around a little bit to get it in correctly. And then as well, make sure you put the um, uh, sill weather strip back in place. Okay, and I'll speed up here as I put the uh, inside door handle back on. Remember to kind of twist it onto the rod, push it in, slide it back, and then use the uh, screw and screwdriver and attach it. And then uh, carefully put the water shield back in place. Remember to feed that um, harness right through the water shield and get it stuck on as well as you can. Okay, put the panel back in. Make sure you feed your switch through the hole in the insulation here. Okay, the clips just go right into the door. Put it in place. Make sure that your lock button goes up and in. Push it against the door and down and on. Switch through. Okay, and I'll speed up again as I put the four screws back in. The two longest screws are the ones that go um, way down at the bottom and right under the door handle, and then the kind of shorter pan head screws um, go into the door pole. Fast forward again as I put the Phillips screws in and tighten them up for the switch. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.